Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OP Tasty video. And in today's video, we have the Momo EXP team playthrough for you guys. For all you sadistic motherfuckers out there like myself that like to grind up EXP during your assists, I have your Momo teams on a platter. So, starting off with strength, that was the team, those supports. Let's dive in now. You're probably going to see a lot of changes from my buildable video my my prep video because like i said in that video i'm a spoon and i'd like to overlook things 99 percent of the time not that i do it on purpose it's the, just that i do it um so big changes to this team we brought in inuzuma the kazuna rare recruit we're using kinemon dendro instead of roger and odin we're using the anniversary sabo and we're using shanks pretty much none of the units that i had in the middle of the video are in this team it's like stupid they, 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 it's wild in the prep video i, I just didn't include them because there's a bunch of stuff that I overlooked. Stuff like the tandem orb barrier, stuff like the attack down when you blow a 3.5 chain, and you guys get what I'm saying. So, basically, we brought in Sabo, because he's going to remove Special Bind. On the final stage, you will get inflicted with a Interrupt if you use a Chain Boundary or Chain Boost. Now, on stage 2, you get 2 turns Special Burst. You get um, Special Bind on your Sailors, but you can just utilize a super type of Momo. The enemy is in, so it works really nicely. You can just easily kill there. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. On the final stage, there is Poison Sockets. And I was using the Bath Time Hiori for this. However, I did need to include Hiori as a support. So that way, we're getting a little bit of a chain boost. Now, you can use Uta instead on Shanks, I believe. Um, and that way, you can still use Hiori on this particular team over Inizuma. But I just, just did a hard swap with Inizuma, removing the poison that way. But because we have um, Zoro as a support on, on um, Kinemon Dendro, we get a chain boost for the final stage. We can then use Sabo. He removes the special bind. He gives you a chain boundary for three turns. The enemy has an interrupt, but all he does is wipe away positive effects and give you six turns of attack down. Momo can remove attack down. He reapplies his attack boost. You can then use that Hiyori support for a bit of a chain buff, whether you're using that or whether you're using Uta. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, whatever works for your box is going to work out. And then finally, we're going to use Kinemon Dendro for a base stat boost as well as a orb boost. We have resistance down for slashes, so make sure you are keeping a uh, matching orb on your Kinemon Dendro. And then finally, wrap it up with Shanks. Make sure you can get a tandem orb somewhere, and that way you can easily kill on this particular fight. So I had to do a bunch of reshuffling. Honestly, I had to bang my head against the wall for a little bit, but look, we managed to get strength done. Let's move on to Sai. On to Sai now, and things did change a little bit here, not because of my own fault, but because the poison on stage two is an absolute bitch. So as you guys saw there, I have level one poison sockets. Anything higher will be more beneficial, but you really only need level one poison sockets to make this work. So that was the team, those are the supports, let's dive in. Now the big change that I made was I took off Yamato from this team, and I replaced Yamato with Makuno, Uta, and Luffy. And the big upside to the Makuno, Luffy, and Uta unit is that they can use the Gordon support for a little bit of healing, plus they can apply two turns of damage reduction, and they heal back. Because on stage two, you are going to take a whopping 60k from the poison, and you don't have a choice in that. Like, it's, it's unfortunate. You, you're going to have to take that. If you have poison sockets, it's going to get reduced. So for myself, it goes down to, I believe, 48k. So make sure you got those poison sockets, or if you have the host ship level 12, you're probably going to have a lot more HP than I have, because mine's level 10, and honestly, it probably will be the time that I actually level this ship up, finally. Um, but, lo and behold, here we are. We uh, managed to tank a bit of damage there. The Gordon support is going to help us with a little bit of healing. Shitty is going to remove the poison, and make sure you have your units in the same spots as me for this, because you are going to super swap with Robin Koala to give a matching orb to Usopp. Very important that that's there just to kill this stage, but you also want to use the Sanji support It's a free to play support so that way you can get three recovery orbs here And that way you'll have enough HP to tank the 150,000 moving into the next stage Make sure you have level three sockets as well for damage reduction Very important that you guys have that as you can see we'll be at about 61,000 HP as long as you're anything above I think it's 45,000 It might be 54,000. I can't exactly remember off the top of my head, um, but as long as you are above 54,000 HP, you are going to be able to tank it. We used Robin Koala on the previous turn. Big upside to using Robin Koala is we get a three-turn orb buff. We don't have to worry about the very little 1.1 that Luchi is going to apply to us. That way, we can bypass that. To get around the paralysis later and the special by now, we're going to use the special of Usopp. We have the Rhizo support on uh, Momo, so that helps us out there. And then to get around the uh, attack down with any orb that's not a tandem or a... Bomb slot, we're going to be using Kid and Law. Kid and Law just give us a full board of tandem orbs. It works out great. You can use the Beppo and uh, Bluno 
Free to play unit as a 1.3 conditional booster if you really want to as well because you do set defense to zero. As you can see, we do have a lot of damage there, but look, these EXP teams, getting the amount of damage output was actually really tough. But look, that side, let's move on to the final fight. Which is against Dex, and once again, I had to make a bit of a change here. As I mentioned in the prep video, if we're struggling for HP with the pain, we were going to have to sub out Odin and Toki. So that was the team, those supports, let's dive on in. Now, if you guys don't have that uh, not Kazuna Boa, you can use Shiroshi Manchuri V1. Shiroshi Manchuri V1 are going to pretty much do exactly the same. You don't need the Mr. 3 support on them then. But what Shiroshi Manchuri aren't doing is giving you another hitting unit because they're not free spirit. In their dual form anyway. Um, and they're not giving you the tap timing buff that Boa can give. But Boa removes pain, which just makes her exceptional for this fight. But so does Shiroshi Mansuri, because you can select two debuffs to actually get rid of. Now, it's mind-boggling to me that they didn't buff Boa when they threw pain at us, or just make Psy units boosted on this particular fight. It, it's it's mind-boggling to me, but they didn't. So Boa will just get the cooldowns thanks to Nami Karina. And thanks to the Mr. 3 support. But if you don't have the Mr. 3 support or you're not using Army Karina, just be mindful. You're probably not going to get the cooldowns. If your host ship's level 12, you might have a few more cooldowns than me. But this team worked out actually pretty nicely. On stage 2, you have to deal with Threshold and Attack Down. Now, utilizing the Karina variation of this special is great. Because Karina is actually going to remove both of these debuffs. She gives some cooldown and she gives some orbs. Ideally, you want to have that G orb still on Boa. Like, you don't want to get a one orb on Boa because Boa can give herself a tandem orb on the final stage and you can have access to her super tandem as well because we're using a Luffy as well. So that works out great. But as for the final stage, we are using a bunch of supports to get around the despair. You are going to have a random interrupt. It could be an orb boost and a base stat remover. It could be an orb boost and a conditional remover. Or it could be a attack boost and something else. So pretty annoying stuff. And obviously the damage to this team is going to lack a lot. This is probably one of the most... Um, annoying 10-star Kazuna fights we've seen for something that's not utilizing what they want you to use. However, we did manage to get it done with Moma. Now, I used Luffy first because eventually you get Fear and Special Bind. Make sure your Luffy's Limit Break expanded to get around the Fear. But I wanted to just sort of showcase that very early, that you will need to use Luffy no matter what. And as I've been rambling on in some of my other videos, the Despair and losing all that HP is going to be a problem for a lot of teams because that 25k Pain is going to be very, very annoying. But like I said, Boa gets around it. Shiroshi Manchuri V1 can get around it too. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We can actually take out Luchi, uh, Luchi, Luchi, Luchi very nicely here. So that's going to wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go down there, belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are a sadistic motherfucker and like to farm EXP like myself. But most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.